Hi, good morning. My name is uh, Abimbola Wade. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to color coding some of our GAN charts in the project. In my last video, I put up um, an idea of um, how to use an um, activity code in the project. So, possibly, maybe I'm just going to make I mean continue from where I stopped from the last time so where in the nutshell I'm just gonna show maybe um, an idea of um, I mean just a kind of an um, idea of um, what I did in my last video anyway so I could continue from there so to create an um, activity code I went on to say enterprise I because definitely I'm still gonna make use of um, the activity code in you know, doing the color coding of um, the Gantt that's what I'm trying to refer so that um, possibly if you didn't watch my last video you could just um, grab the idea from here so to create um, I mean to create a um, color coding you need to do the activity code then possibly you go on to doing the color coding of the of the Gantt so the way I did it was that um, I went on to to create an uh, activity code you go on the enterprise activity code then i under the global activity code i created it for the contractors they i say modify then i added contractor to that so contractor then uh, some of the codes are ec.11 for procurement ec.1.2 for mechanical construction and so forth so <coughs> that's the way i created them some of the codes anyway so these are some of the contract line for some of the some of the wall breakdown structures as you can really see so to go further from there i've um, brought in the column for for the contractor this is the way i did it i just left click on the on the primavera 6 then i go on a column as you can really see say this is it i brought it in or you possibly go on to say column then you bring in the contractor here so that's another way of doing it so for the procurement let's just say um, assign it now anyway where the procurement you're gonna have a um, procurement you had it you do you shift down then you now left click you fill it down that represents the contract line for the procurement and for the mechanica you could go on to say click on it click on here click on the mechanica you assign it then you right click i mean shift down that's a light in the all the faces representing the mechanica some of the activities then you now left click you fill it down so that's how to go about assigning some of the codes to it an alternative way to doing it is possible like i go on code and take for it on this activity now is because we have done it before anyway so adb maybe you really want to do it you just it's just a matter of like um be assign it i mean from here through the codes anyway oh yeah i can say i've done it two times but never mind <coughs> so the motive and the idea of um, doing this tutorial is to assign i mean color coding some of these um, gant i mean some of these um, bars differently so to distinguish them so the next thing i'm going to do is just to go on to filter then um i'm just gonna add new then i say procurement that's called ee then i say where contractor um, where is it oh wow well, i've created two but never mind i'm just gonna use one anyway equals um procurement yeah that's been created anyway so i just say okay then, uh, then another one again where Mechanica
equals you you assign mechanical to it as well so you just say okay so that has been assigned for mechanical and if you really want to see if that's open and anyway, it's just a matter of clicking this then you say apply so just only the some of the activities for the mechanical will come up and um if you want to show the procurement too it's just a matter of um, saying apply and some of the activity that come under the procurement will come up so that's one of the advantages i mean that's a very big advantage of an activity code because it helps to categorize and um uh, categorize um your activities your what breakdown structures your 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 project it helps a lot so what we want to do today is um doing the coding we want to try to code some of these uh, activities some of these bar with different color to procurement i mean coding give a different color coding to mechanica and i did give a different color coding to procurement just for better presentation or maybe you want to make a report anyway so to really go on doing that i'm just gonna go on to bar can you see that on here or you right click say bar so you now need to go on down here possibly then you say hard you had maybe two times because you want to do for procurement and mechanical so you, you could say procurement <coughs> And um, you click on here. Then you want to you want to link it up with the procurement the feature we have created before. So we just say okay. So it's been linked as as you can really see. So again, you want to do it for mechanica. So you need to link it up with the mechanica too. So on here, what you just need to do is just like um, tick this box here, so that um, it's being linked up very well. So one thing before we go is um, we need to do before we go is um, trying to change the colors of for the bars. So for the procurement, we could say maybe um, pink color. Oh no, let me use um, um, I think I would use um, a different color here no no i don't want it red anyway so i just possibly go on to using this color yeah that would distinguish it better from the my level of effort um, bar here so on here i could make it of um let me see i could make it of um mm, yeah i could i could use pink so so the color coding has been done so in the event that we want to really show the two so we need to just mark the two tick the box six anyway so we say apply as you can really see some of them i mean it's been distinguished now what's wrong with this oh what's going on here the color coding for the procurement has been done to distinguish it from uh, the mechanical but why is this on red and why is this on pink uh, let me see exactly what happened there yeah here we go so what i just need to do is just like uh, make sure this code here was on uh, 1.3 before so i need to put it back on 1.2 i believe immediately that is done um the color will change as you can really see here so that shows i believe um, this video explain better how to color coding your gants please if you have any message you could just leave it for me and i'll get back to you or maybe you have some other question regarding um primavera 6 you could get in touch with me by leaving a message or you leave me your email then i'll get in touch with you thank you very much